What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring all of you this evening. So what we're going to be covering in this update is a little bit of the Ortex changes that we've seen on AMC and on GameStop because as we all know by now, um, when these stocks do have big moves, they move in tandem. So it helps us to take a look at both of these to kind of get a bigger picture of what we're looking at. Now, the second thing that I really want to go over is the fact that AMC is looking like it is going to try to pay a dividend in 2022 or the beginning of 2023. There is a lot of facts pointing to this. This is not clickbait at all. I'm going to go over a lot of what Adam Aaron's comments have said and what this new debt restructuring deal means for AMC going forward. But everything points to the fact that AMC is going to be able to pay a dividend over the next couple of quarters. Now, in addition to this, we also have to talk about this the Department of Justice defense probe um, in which people who have been manipulating the share prices through basically illegal shorting methods um, could potentially be facing jail time. And we also have another update from the SEC as well. So before we get into all of that information, if you enjoy the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn and if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video in addition guys i think you guys have seen it a lot in the live chats by now but everybody's crushing it with 1348 that options trading strategy um that really shows where the momentum of a lot of stocks are headed on an intraday basis. If you do want to learn that strategy, make sure you go check out the free sections of our Discord down below. Um, and I'll be in there trying to help answer any questions as well, along with TMI and uh, Review Dork. So when we come over to AMC's Ortex here, we saw a lot of crazy updates today. 80.32% utilization, that number's most likely going to go up tomorrow after what we saw today. 3.4 million shares borrowed. A net borrow of shares of AMC today, 2.45 million. This puts the estimated short interest as a percentage of the free flow, 21.31%. And now we have the estimated shares sold short at 109 million. That is a very significant amount. And again, as we see that utilization come up, there's more scarcity in the securities lending market. Um, this cost to borrow will start to come up as well. Now, when we come over to GameStop, 86.56% uh, utilization. Again, that's probably going to step up tomorrow. Almost 20% estimated short interest with pretty high cost to borrow with another cost to borrow max day uh, in that 8% range. Again, all good data metrics pointing to the fact that kind of the free party that the shorts have had over the last two months with being able to short the stock and having the cost to borrow on them go down, that is coming to an end. Now, in order to kind of talk about this AMC dividend situation, we have to kind of go over what AMC has done over this last week. And remember yesterday, we were unsure as to whether or not they had actually upped their 500 million um, bond offering all the way up to 950 million. And again, it's non-dilutive um, and these bonds are not convertible. And we were unsure if that had actually happened because there was no filing from AMC themselves. Today, or at the end of yesterday, we did get that filing. Um, so we see here that we are going to be getting that 900 50 million aggregate principal amount paying at about 7.5%. What they're essentially trying to do here is use a lot of this money to try and pay off or essentially refinance the debt that they have coming due in 2026. So they can essentially have to pay less on that interest or on this loan that they've taken out every single quarter in every single year, which is going to be helping out their bottom line, their net income. So we have that $950 million bond offering. Then we come over here. An article about this situation, when we come here, the new bond also removes certain restrictions on AMC analyst noted, allowing it to incur additional debt, and here we go, increase its capacity to pay dividends and make investments. Remember that tweet from Adam Aaron a couple of weeks ago when he was talking about those debt covenants as to kind of trying to loosen those up so he can kind of maybe start to offer a dividend? Yep, that's exactly what he's done with this. But this isn't the only kind of thing that's pointing to AMC being able to pay a dividend. I've brought this up a couple of times, but I want to show you the actual facts. When we go back to AMC's earnings call transcript from Q2 of 2021, this is what is said uh, with a uh, essentially from Adam Aaron in this call. So we see right here, this was released on August 9th. When we come down a little bit further here, actually, let me just search this in here again for dividend. Now, the question here, remember Timothy from the Say Technologies vote. Um, thanks, Adam. So the first question we have is from Timothy, and the question is, 
Do you have any plans to offer a dividend again? And here's Adam Aaron's response. Thank you, Timothy. We appreciate the question. If you look at our path uh, since going public in 2013, AMC paid sizable quarterly dividends every quarter until we got close to the pandemic and realizing that our liquidity would be stretched, we ceased offering a dividend. Okay, cool. Now's here we, where we get into the interesting things. There are some commitments that we have made in some of our debt instruments that we cannot pay a dividend until at the earliest about a year from now. So that would put us at around August of this year. Having said that, we do know that dividends are very much on the mind of our shareholders. So we uh, will take that interest quite seriously when we have the ability to make dividends once again. We'll balance those shareholder desires against the other competing uses of our cash what opportunities are available in mergers and acquisitions and how much do we need for liquidity? So what Adam Aaron has essentially been telling us is that yes, he is kind of trying to restructure this debt in a way where we could see a dividend coming at the earliest of August of this year. Now, again, I know a lot of people are going to be thinking, well, this could be an NFT dividend, blah, blah, blah. Eh, we don't really know if that's how it's going to come out. But again, when you look at the facts here and what Adam Aaron has said and what this refinancing deal has actually done for AMC, it is looking very, very strong that the possibility of having a dividend come out this year, the possibility of that is very, very high. Now, quickly, I do want to get into a couple of other pretty important things that have happened today when we come over to this Dave Lauer tweet right here. And again, it was confirmed by Gasparino. Um, and they talked about this on Fox Business today. Fox Business reports that the Justice Department, the DOJ, investigation into short selling abuse has expanded to up to 60 firms with focused on activist short sellers aka market manipulators. What this means, and it's kind of different by the SEC or FINRA investigating anybody where the SEC comes out, gives them a fine where these institutions are like, yeah, whatever, this is just the cost of doing business. This is potentially facing them with jail time. So this could put a lot of pressure on these so-called activist short sellers over the coming months. But again, this is something that I've said that we need to keep a lookout for and we need to see how this is going to develop because the Department of Justice is going to handle this in a lot different way. And they're gonna have a lot more power to really kind of punish these individuals, a lot more power than the SEC would actually have. Now, when we come over to this tweet right here, we also have the SEC's meme stock response coming next week. Now, Gary Gensler did say say um, in his report today, in his interview, um, that a lot of the retail volume, 90 to 95%, is going off exchange. Now, it's not necessarily the fact that dark pools themselves or these off exchange venues are bad. Some of them are. Citadel Connect most likely are. Dark pools, not necessarily as much, but it really comes down to what is being done in these systems. These market makers are using these off exchange venues to essentially front run a lot of these orders and limit price discovery. That is the issue. But again, like I've said in the past, there is an easy fix to this. If you do not want your order going to one of these off exchange venues, a dark pool, and OTC marketplace, all you have to do is go to an, uh, a brokerage that allows you to direct your orders directly to the exchanges. And again, guys, I know we saw a lot of volatility in the market today that did kind of further that move down in AMC. We did see some good news off GME this morning with their NFT partnerships and their marketplace and the funds that they're willing to open up for this project. Um, but again, they did end up finishing in the red as well. In my mind, it's only a matter of time before we see this situation start to bend back in retail's direction. It's been long enough now. We are waiting for that slow, steady backdrop of buying volume, not these short shark fin moves where you see a bunch of spurts of buying and then it comes right back down. We are waiting for that buying pressure, that slow backdrop of buying pressure to come back into the stock. And again, guys, while we wait, there's a lot of market, uh, basically potential out there. We see Snapchat pumping in the after hours, Amazon pumping in the after hours, Pinterest. We saw a lot of trades today that we were hitting. Uh, Discovery, Viacom. You saw those Facebook uh, puts that I had from yesterday. There was a lot of opportunity out there if you are willing to learn and basically try and make a little bit of money on the side. So that is going to wrap up this update on AMC. If you guys enjoyed this information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next video.